Hey what's up guys, Craze here and the day has finally arrived, so for anyone who was wondering, I know a ton of people were asking me this yesterday on stream, the pre-order for No Man's Sky on the Xbox One is finally up, you can go ahead and grab them at game.co.uk if you're in Europe, but I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of other European retailers out there as well as US ones and anywhere else in the world, I'm gonna post links in the description box of course where you can go ahead and grab them, I know there are a ton of retailers in my country who also have them for pre-orders so keep in mind that No Man's Sky will be releasing this month on the 24th and the physical version can be pre-ordered right now and you will receive it on the 27th and I'm pretty sure that there are retailers who also offer express shipping so you can receive them on launch. As mentioned before it comes with its own pre-order bonuses much like how the PC and PS4 ones also had in 2016 except this time around you get an awesome Xbox One logo helmet for your character model as as well as a cool multi-tool among other things. There's a lot of stuff happening right now with the ARG as well. Waking Titan is approaching its final stages. There are two support patients left so there are still a few puzzles going on that the community is actively solving right now. Nonetheless expect some reveals by the end of this week, maybe even tomorrow or later today. So far each weekend with very few exceptions has always held something in store for us so there was always teaser content being shown for everybody out of the loop we had reveals for the brand new character models which you can also check on the cover of the pre-order pack there's a new type of planet coming in the ringed one as well as new ship types nonetheless expect multiplayer to be a big feature in next pvp and co-op is also on the menu for all the multiplayer interaction that you need the game won't be turning into an mmorpg though so keep your expectations in check it's still going to be 16 player lobbies i know a lot of people still ask this question to this day even though I have answered it so many times. If you want to find out all the available information on the next update, I urge you to go ahead and first and foremost check the No Man's Sky website. There is a blog post over there explaining a few things. Also there's Sean Murray's interview at the Inside Xbox event which happened last month and that one also holds a few details as well. And of course there's the info on this channel. I have also covered all the already confirmed features so far in the next update in a video posted like two or three days ago I'm going to post a link to that so you can go ahead and check it out. No Man's Sky is definitely getting a lot more attention as we're getting closer and closer to the actual release. Expect a lot of craziness to go down as more stuff gets revealed. Also some people are already trying to spread false information about what the next update might contain, some of the features. I know I saw a post on Reddit about having specializations in the game but I'm not really sure that is even confirmed. It was never mentioned before, it was just somebody pointing towards that it was a screenshot that somebody has posted but it was quickly removed so nonetheless stay wary of any false information only the mods the moderators on that subreddit can confirm or infirm anything so yeah speculation is going to happen anyway it's a natural part of the process i mean hello games is pretty secretive before they launch a new update so people naturally begin theorizing every single bit of information that they get regardless of this every single update so far has been massive and completely changed the face of the game so you will definitely not be disappointed there's a lot of content already in the game you can go ahead and check out right now the game has already gone through so many changes and upgrades and improvements that it's significantly different than even what it was shown back at e3 so yeah each update always holds something for everybody like new amazing features we get stability improvements graphical updates this is the typical route hello games goes with their updates they bring in something for everybody so if your game runs poorly it will most probably run better with the new update there's also going to be new features if you already went through the entirety of the game like i did so there's something for everybody in this game and i'm super excited for next as well expect many things you're doing right now in the game assuming you're playing it of course to drastically change in next and a lot of things might be broken with the new update as it happens there's going to probably be a day one patch that fixes bugs or just implements the new features and whatnot it happened in the past so I'm seeing it happening right now with the next update. Another PSA I have for everybody who is currently running mods. I've seen this happening previously with Alice Rises and Pathfinder as well. The mods that you're currently playing with will most probably not work with the next update unless the mod author comes in and actively updates them. So keep in mind that when you're launching the game if you have mods installed remove the modding installation folder as that will prevent you from launching the game or make it crash. I know a lot of people had this problem 
album and they didn't know what was happening, they thought everything was going fine, but they forgot that they had mods installed, so yeah, just keep that in mind. They will not work with the new update, none of the mods that are working right now will not work with the next update, unless the mod author comes in and updates them as well. Your planet might also have a reset as it happened before and especially since we're getting a new planet added, so refrain from trying to find worlds to settle on for the next couple of weeks because there is a high possibility for them to get completely resetted. I mean, we had a universe regeneration in the past and a lot of people were pretty disappointed that their lush paradise planets were changed into these abominations that they just couldn't stay upon. That will most probably happen. Speaking of resets, nothing yet indicates for a total war. Wipe. and I'm talking about progression as well. A lot of people don't really have a problem with this as starting fresh in the next update isn't really such a bad idea. You get to experience the game as it is right now with all the updates included so that might not be a bad thing even if it happens. I know I wouldn't miss my current save game if everybody got a reset for a fresh start. I know I wouldn't be mad at that. Even though I have put hundreds of hours into it, I wouldn't be mad at that. Still, you can keep on going and playing right now. There's no problem with that. You you will get to have the experience from both sides so before and after the update that way you will have a way to compare the game and see how it was before and after the patch there's also a few ongoing server issues i believe at least from my experience and a lot of you probably saw it on yesterday's live stream and there's a lot of people complaining about the game not being able to hold connections to the servers like the services always drop for some reason and i've tried fixing mine to see what's happening exactly but i just couldn't find the culprit i still see a lot of people having problems to these days so maybe there's some sort of incompatibility with the new version of Windows maybe Halo Games is working on their servers especially since they are expecting a lot more people with the next update maybe a combination of both nonetheless if you have your services dropping randomly through the game don't immediately assume it's a problem on your end it might be just Halo Games messing stuff up Another mention that I want to cover quickly is crossplay. So a lot of people are asking themselves if crossplay will be a thing with the next update since we're getting multiplayer. As I've said, this is not turning into an MMORPG and at least from a technical point of view when it comes to servers don't expect much to change at least when it comes to players interacting with one another from different platforms that's what I'm trying to say at least Sony for the most part has done a very poor job at supporting cross-platform especially with Microsoft since they're basically competitors so Sony would probably not allow a cross-platform between Xbox and the PS4 just keep that in mind I mean even Fortnite which is probably the most played game right now has this problem. I know there's some issues with you linking your accounts on all platforms. So yeah, Sony is doing a really poor job at this. I do hope at least the PC and the Xbox One will have some sort of online play. I mean, it's all about Halo Games and Microsoft at this point, at least between the Xbox One and the PC version. Even if the PS4 community is excluded, at least I want to see this interaction between the console players and the PC players, because this doesn't depend on Sony anymore. It's just Microsoft and Halo Games, as I've said so hopefully that will be a thing in the next update. Oh, and since we're still talking about updates, all of them are included with the Xbox One launch. People who already own the game on the PC and the PS4 will get the update for free. All of the updates so far have been free and forever will be free. This is what the developer has always told us. So don't expect to pay for updates. You will just pay for the base game and the updates will forever be free. A couple of days ago, I also mentioned the community event that's still going on. It was organized by Halo Games and you're urged to go ahead and just post links and coordinates and screenshots towards your favorite worlds in the hub as well as outside the hub so if you're just a random traveler who's traveling in the universe of no man's sky have hello games document them you can go ahead and check the website that i've posted in the description below and you can post over there i'm not sure what this project really is maybe hello games will try to make a trailer or a collage of what we already have and the best discoveries that the community has come up with in the already existing lifespan of no man's sky maybe they will try to not reset these worlds in particular with the next update if that happens there's a lot of stuff going on right now that doesn't really make any sense but yeah you can go ahead and do that there's the possibility for you to submit your own portal coordinates and screenshots for your favorite worlds on the website that I have provided in the description box but I'm just bringing it up since it's such a cool way for Hello Games to engage the community and actually for them to make a general idea and impression on what fans generally like when it 
comes to worlds in No Man's Sky. I know I personally did that. I have submitted my own favorite planets that I have discovered in my entire playthrough in No Man's Sky. Of course, there could have been many more on top of those, but yeah, I just kind of forgot about them and they got deleted. So yeah, this is pretty much all we have for today. I'm super excited for next. A lot of stuff will probably come up in the following two weeks, maybe even earlier than that. The trailers and the patch notes will follow most probably right before the launch and of course the trailer will be posted on the No Man's Sky website as well as on their YouTube channel. I'm not sure if it's going to be at the end of the ARG, it never happened before, I don't think the ARG will hold a trailer for us at the end of it. Maybe they will have a cool reveal but I don't think it will hold a trailer. But we'll wait and see, I'm more than glad to be wrong on this one. Again, this is all the time we have for today, ladies and gents, I hope you guys found this video useful if you did a like and a subscribe would be super appreciated and the notification bell you should also activate that by the way and i will see you guys in our next adventure